Right, I just want to film a little something like <clears throat> to have something to show for today. So, oh my gosh, I would really like to do lower body workouts, like how I've been doing push up workouts. I'd have to plan that and do like weekly workout plans I, I, I want to do so that I'm thinking um, I'm allowing my exercise journey to progress from making daily plans to weekly plans so I can plan how many reps I'd want to do a week take it from there it's an idea that I found on YouTube and I definitely want to use it to make more progress than I currently am at the moment because I think I am self-sabotaging Knowing self sabotage myself, knowing this information and not applying it to at least see how I'd go, which I haven't done yet. But I'd say I'm saying if I don't do anything about that, I think I've self sabotaged myself. Anyway, I'm gonna do. Uh, I was doing ten set. Oh, t I did ten sets of ten yesterday. I'll do one set of fifteen. See how that goes. I'll take it in three sets of five, but I'm broken. I'll I'll try. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's fine. It's 1.32 in the afternoon the next day and I've been um, uploading videos and starting to plan for what I want to do on a weekly basis. Again, I'm, I'm, things are starting to get really on top and I want to make it easier for myself to not feel, feel overwhelmed, hence I'm doing that. However, I'm making this note in this clip to say that I did do the 15 reps as planned, but the reason why I didn't have it all recorded on camera is because the camera cut off because the storage ended up being full from, ended up becoming full, full from all of the recording that I'd done throughout the day of me going through, um, the, me doing the exercise logs in the in the gym, for example. That took up that took up a lot of storage actually, less than seventeen gigabytes. The half hour project, the part one was around about was no it wasn't round about it was actually 14.22 gigabytes and then the other one was 2.78 gigabytes i think i have deleted the clips from the um from my phone now but uh, because i've already checked that it's uploaded in the resolution i wanted it up at which is it's full quality at 4k 60 frames per second and yeah it's uh, the shorter one, the 5 minute 13 second project, the part 2 of day 575 when I filmed was 2.48 gigabytes, so it's around about 17 gigabytes or so. Hence the storage cutout. I was I was wondering why I was saying that, but that, that is relevant for the video. So yeah, that that's that. And um, I'm thinking of going about exercising in a more effective way through planning out how many reps I want to do with certain things like pull-ups a week i'm definitely getting to a point where i'm making major progress with my push-ups and i want to copy and paste that sort of rate of progress that i'm making with the push-ups for my pull-ups so i am uh, in the midst of planning that at the moment by trying to do 300 reps a week which i've wanted to do in 100 reps a session three times a week on the resistance band for my to cater to, to my current physical ability level, what I could do with pull-ups. I definitely would be able to do that with push-ups in, in half an hour sessions, which is what I do with um, which is what I do with the pull-ups. Well I'll I'll try to anyway. And if not, I'll do I'll do maybe 40 minutes or so, maybe film that on the tablet where there's a lot more space. Yeah, so there's that, and I also want to make some progress with the handstands because I've seen a video on YouTube of how some people, uh, how someone did it, which I've actually seen someone in person do before watching that video. And their piece of advice is to go into frog stand, then headstand, and then handstand, push up from headstand position into handstand and then from there I'd be able to unlock the skill and then I could master 
uh, going about doing the handstands, walking in handstand position, by getting into handstand position like that. And then eventually, after learning how to balance enough, uh, for long enough, I'd then um, kick up into position, which I've been wanting to do, which I usually see people do. But before that, I would just get into handstand position from doing a frog stand to headstand and then handstand. Yeah, but that's it. That's the end of the video. I'm done. So I just wanted to clear that up and to say that I did actually do the 15 push-ups and I'm going to change the tra trajectory of my workouts by making them more long-term based by thinking of um, how I do workouts on a weekly basis rather than day-by-day -day basis. I don't regret that I did that on a focus focusing on them on the day-by-day -day basis only because I've been able to use that to get to a point where I'm planning my sessions on a regular basis and from that I'm now... Um, I'm now ready to build on that progress because I don't think I'm making the progress I could make with the pull up. So, yeah, I'm now um, ready to move on from that po uh, from that point in my in my uh, planning efficiency or journey. I don't know. The planning it itself is a journey. I'd I'd like to say because there's a lot to it, and without planning, I just would not be able to have effective sessions. Even if I were to say I wanted to practice doing handstands or headstands way back when on the wall support that in itself is planning but just going around aimlessly is just something i don't think i could do efficiently because it's aimless it's not i don't have something to really focus on but anyway that's it i'm, I'm going to stop talking now i really need some water so yeah that's it i'm done bye at least i've made some note of what was going on though